Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. I have my tent up. I have most of the stuff in there and my girls have helped set up a bit of it. They are not here this weekend. Um, actually, they're out and about this weekend. I have two daughters. I'm a single mom and I have two daughters and one of them is in Washington, D.C. and the other one is with grandma this week. So I am up here in the mountains to enjoy this time, this peace that I love. Um, but this video is about the inside of my tent. I just want to show you really fast in case you guys have questions because my other videos I'm just gonna be coming in and out of the tent so you're probably wondering what's inside the tent that's what this video is for so stay tuned <music> So inside my tent, it does get kind of dark in here um, compared to obviously being outside. I have two covers on it, so it's pretty dark and it has this yellow to tone to it. So sorry about that. If you're wondering why my face looks a little pink and yellow, that is why. Um, I do have a wood stove. Now I haven't set up everything in this tent quite yet, but I'm getting there. This is my first day here. Um, I have, this is what, this is the really big, really big stove. I have a, if you saw my videos earlier, Earlier this year I had a tent and I had a little stove that was like maybe a quarter the size of this one and I called it a little bit. So now I think we should name this the stove. If you got any names for me put it below. I'd love to have a cool name for this stove. Um, I got my little teapot in here with some some chaga tea. I don't think the bears like chaga tea. Do you guys know? If you know if they like chaga tea let me know. I know it's not gonna focus. Um, and then I have a little fan 
and so when it when this heats up that fan automatically goes which is really nice it doesn't require any um, electricity or anything like that the fan just goes and it will blow on me over at the other end of the tent which is my bed so um, before I get over there I just want to show you guys this awesome bunk bed that I have um, I have two daughters and they need somewhere to sleep so this is their place to sleep when they come here now they came out here and they started decorating the tent for me I thought it was really cute I don't think this is the right area for that bunk bed but I just left it here um, they'll be out here in two weeks and I left it here like this and uh, they'll probably break it apart and move it all around the tent once they get here I am near the two cool folding um, I don't know what there's folding shelves here I love these they're so easy to pack they're so easy to haul around and they have wheels on the bottom of them so I can move them around as I wish and I like that because um, I will be honest but I don't want to tell my girls I'm gonna rearrange the tent probably later once they're not here as much <laughs> because it seems a little cramped in here, you know, over in this little corner. But I do have some new things on my shelves this year, and I want to kind of just go over it in the case you guys ask. I do get a lot of questions about what I keep in my tent, so if you see, like, there's some bear spray over here. So I'm going to go over some of the stuff that I have um, on my shelves, and, and I'll just kind of show it off. Okay, I have my bear. I, sh I showed this on my um, couple of my Facebooks. I showed it last year. It's a bear I got in uh, Frisco, Colorado. I just fell in love with this bear. Look at that facial expression. I love it. It's so cute. And then I have little sayings. I got this one from a subscriber as well. And then I got some candles. I got some new candles for this year. It's not supposed to drip wax anywhere, so we're going to test that out. Um, you're going to see that I added a little shelf. This is actually just cardboard. I wanted to do wood and then like stain the wood and paint on it, but I, I spend too much money. I have been spending way too much money lately. So I had some cardboard in my garage. And so I just used the cardboard and I painted some cool like dragon like designs on it, which I thought was really cool. So every shelf has its little um, kind of designs on it. Um, here's another one that I got as well. I absolutely love it. Last year, if you saw my videos, I had another one of these sayings and it said, um, I don't need, what was it? Hiking is my therapy or something like that. And I can't remember, but I felt that it was kind of negative. So I decided to get something a little bit more positive. Uh, and then again, I have some more designs on here. I was kind of going for kind of a Viking type theme to my design, Scandinavian type thing. I don't know if that actually turned out that way, but I really like it. Um, here's a bear that Stacy gave me. Thank you, Stacy. And it says spirit bear. I am a spirit. My spirit animal is a bear. So I have little spirit bear there coming to spirit forest and then down here I have some um, some more cardboard I got a carbon monoxide detector in case you guys I get asked this all the time so you don't have to ask I have one it's good and then I have this was made for me isn't this beautiful it's actually made from the wood on my land it is it is the aspen from the wood on my land isn't that beautiful? Um, I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet, but I felt that it was appropriate to keep it out here. Um, I love it. That's great. And then um, there's another shelf. And then Madison made me this for Mother's Day. She painted it. Um, obviously a mountain scene, if you can't see that. And then when you open it up, um, I'm going to take this out. I'll explain what that's for. Um, she painted a little daisy, which is my favorite. Madison is such a beautiful artist. And it has a mirror. So, yeah, this is probably the first mirror I've had at Spear Forest. <laughs> a lot of times I don't know what I look like when I'm filming unless I look at my camera. So it's actually kind of nice to have my mirror here. Um, and then she also painted a pine cone. Such a beautiful artist she is. And that was my Mother's Day present this year. So I'm going to, I don't know again what I'm going to put in that, but, um, there we go, go and focus. And then I painted another little design. Um, I have my, my bear spray here 
um, that is important to have. The bears are really active in my area right now, really active. A lot of people posting about um, bears in my neighborhood. Um, I bought this vase. It's a wooden vase out of the wood in Jamaica when I was on my Jamaica trip. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. But I bought this and I'm hoping that maybe I can get some wildflowers to put in there. Um, you can put water in it and if you smell inside there, it smells like burnt wood. It's really, it's really pretty. I really like it and so I wanted to bring it out here. Down here at the bottom, I do, I'm not always going to bring my laptop, but I brought it um, on this trip because I plan on taking some stuff down from my trail cams and I want to be able to put it directly on my laptop. That's why I have the laptop here. And then I have a knife um, next to me. It's always good to have some sort of protection next to you. Uh, this knife is crazy sharp, crazy. Let's see if it will focus here. There you go. A K bar. This was given to me by a subscriber, BK2, given to me by a subscriber of mine. Um, I will end up doing a review on it. I haven't had a chance to, to play with it yet. <laughs> so it is heavy and severe, but I've decided if I was going to have a knife sitting right next to me, this might be the knife I want right next to me. This knife will be within arm length of my bed. Okay, down here I got some extra power. This is a Goal Zero. Um, I think it's a, what is it, the Yeti 400. I really like it. I really do. Um, it's got USB. I've done a couple reviews on this, so you can go check that out if you want. I can um, power it with solar panels as well. I use this um, throughout the entire summer. It has lasted me like 10 days without going um, dead. Now, when I use my laptop, this thing only lasts like two days. So I don't usually bring my laptop out here. And then I have some extra water just in case, you know, if I needed some extra water, I got some water there that is actually just tap water from my house. You'll notice throughout my videos that I have painted a lot of stuff. I love to paint. My daughters love to paint and we, we just, um, just keep painting the deck and everything. I don't care. I'll just, I'll paint even on the floor. It doesn't matter to me. Um, this is mine so I can do whatever it is I want to it to make it more of mine. So this is new. This is a thermometer and it's pretty chilly. I don't know if you could see it. It's pretty chilly here. Um, it's going to be down in the low 30, so for those of you who need a conversion, it's uh, right about there. Right below zero is where it's going to be tonight. It's a bit big. It doesn't really fit, but it's what I had, and I didn't have to buy another one because I already had this one. I added some little extra lights, and they're just going to push. And if you saw that remote um, thing that was inside that box, that is for this light so I can sit in the bed and not have to get up to turn it off. Here is the bed. Here I got my, my brand new blanket. I am telling you, this feels so good. I love this. Bought this on Amazon and it looks like an animal print. But you guys, just so you know, it's not real. It's fake. Um, but I love it. I really, and it's really warm too. It's really warm. I actually had it in my house um, throughout the winter and we just love it. And it's really soft. So what I want to show you is this. I designed this and let me see if I can get it without my glasses on it. And you can see the little bears. Look at the little bears. That's a mama bear, Madison bear, and little Kyla bear. And then of course I had to add a little Viking touch to it. That's kind of like the Viking um, navigation system there. I don't know. We'll talk about that in probably another video if we want to. And that, there's a raven over here. And then another raven right there which has a little extra color. I designed this in Photoshop and then I uploaded it to a company and they made the, the blanket. Um, it's really really cool i really really like it it gets really cold here so these blankets that i have aren't gonna aren't gonna do the trick to keep me warm 
um, throughout the night. I do have to have a down sleeping bag. Well, I don't need a down, but I love down sleeping bags. So um, I am going to, I have a sleeping bag. It's actually underneath the bed right now. So when you see later in the video, you always see me with my down sleeping bag. It's because it gets below freezing here and it's pretty chilly. In fact, it's so cold right now um, because the sun went behind some clouds. So I'm gonna go grab my jacket and start a fire and then I'll meet you up in just a little bit. Okay, it's actually snowing outside and it's really pretty and it's really cold. Um, I'm a little nervous. It's not supposed to snow a lot of inches, but that's one of the reasons why I'm here is because this tent can't handle any more than three inches. So if it snows more than three inches, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I guess I'll figure that part out. Okay, so let's talk about my water situation here. And I'm just talking about the inside of the tent. Um, this is my water for inside the tent. Um, this is just tap water from the city. I just refill this. Um, it makes it so that I don't have to bring up water for me every time. I am bringing up water for Rocky right now. I'll be keep bringing up water constantly. But that is the reason why I have that here is so that if I have a lot of people here, we can all drink water and we don't have to worry about it. So that's like my backup water, drinking water. I do have some water over here in the back. I'm going to show you. I do have some water that's um, when it rains, it's going to go down that tube and into this barrel. Last year I filled this. I, I fill it pretty fast and what I plan on doing this year is once it's full, then I'm just going to um, seal it up and then it has a little drain little spout down here at the bottom and that is water for doing dishes and water for rocky my dog because he's very thirsty so there's the inside of my tent and i got a nice fire going rocky's out exploring so thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video i'm going to do a ton of videos here at the tent i'm going to be backpacking a lot i'm going to be in the mountains a lot so please come join me i would love to have you with me if this is something that you're interested in please subscribe and um, i'll see you in the next video bye bye